on the factors that affect resolution. So from the previous tutorial, you got to know that resolution is the ability of a microscope to bring new details into focus. So what are the factors that would affect resolution? What are the factors that would affect the ability of a microscope to allow you to see things new, right? So the first thing I would like to talk about is numerical aperture. Now, by numerical aperture, we mean the light capturing ability of the objective lens. So if you have a microscope like this, and you have the light moving from the light source, and coming through the condenser lens, passing through the specimen, and entering the objective lens here. How much light rays are entering these objective lenses? That is described as the numerical aperture. So how much light rays from the specimen that these objective lenses can be able to capture? That is the numerical aperture. The point is this. The light rays coming from the specimen carry the specimen details. And so the ability of these my, um, objective lenses to collect as many light rays emerging from the specimen as possible will determine the quality of details and how um, intense the details will be. And so that is why that can be able to affect our ability to see a lot of structures within the cell because those light rays are carrying the image details. And so ladies and gentlemen, that is numerical aperture. And the most important thing we should notice that numerical aperture is directly proportional to our resolution. It means that the bigger the numerical aperture of the microscope, the better the resolution. Next thing we will talk about is the limit of resolution. In a previous discussion, you got to know limit of resolution as the smallest distance of separation for which it will be permissible to be able to see two things as distinct or separate entities in the microscope. Now, the value of limit of resolution can be able to tell us a lot about our resolution. So we told you that in the, I told you in the previous tutorial that the smaller the value of the limit of resolution, then the higher the resolution because resolution and limit of resolution are inversely proportional. So microscopes that have a large value for limit of resolution have very poor resolutions. And those, have very, those that have very, very small values for limit of resolution are very powerful microscopes. And so get to note that resolution and limit of resolution are inversely proportional. And that's the kind of relationship and how limit of resolution would affect resolution. The last thing we talk about is the wavelength. Now, there's this thing I want to get you to know on two levels. From Einstein's equation, E equals hc over lambda, E equals hc over lambda, where E is the energy carried by the photon, and H is Planck's constant, C is the speed of light in vacuum. Lambda, which is the denominator in that equation, is our wavelength. By that equation, you realize that wavelength and the energy of light are inversely proportional. It means that the shorter the wavelength, the, high, the higher the energy carried by that particular photon. But what I want you to understand is that in microscopy, we are performing work and energy is the ability to do work. So we are using light rays in performing this work, right? We are using rays, whether an electron or not, they are all electromagnetic waves, okay? Now, the energy carried by the particle will determine how much efficient or how much work it can be able to do, right? And in microscopy, we are going to measure efficiency in terms of what details we are seeing, what new we are seeing, that is resolution. So resolution is an ultimate measure of efficiency or the work output by the light or whatever um, wave we are using within the microscope. So by that equation, realize that light of shorter wavelengths will give us very, very high energy. And those can be able to perform incredible amount of work. That means they can be able to give us higher resolution. So in effect, realize that light of very short wavelengths can produce a lot of energy and in effect can provide a lot of very, very high resolution. 
So the relationship between resolution and limit of uh, resolution and wavelength is that they are inversely proportional. The shorter the wavelength, the higher the resolution. The longer the wavelength, the poorer the resolution. Thank you.